Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to eject USB flash drives or flash disk from your Windows device. So it doesn't have to be on Windows 10, it could be any earlier version as well. I thought I'd show some good practices regarding removing a flash drive. So it's definitely not advised when you're done using a flash drive or USB stick just to take it right out of the computer. It definitely can damage information that's on the flash drive and will shorten its life usually. So in this brief tutorial I will show you guys how to safely eject USB flash drives from your computer. So pretty simple. So we're going to start by heading over to the system tray and you want to left click on the little up arrow which will show hidden icons. So here's an icon that looks kind of like a USB flash drive. You want to right click on it and you see there's a whole bunch of devices here. You want to select the one that appears to be most likely your USB flash drive. Now in my case it happens to actually be called USB flash drive, but it could be called flash disk. It could actually be the name of the flash drive itself, so if you have a name assigned to it. So just keep that in mind, it's not going to necessarily be this apparent for everybody. But typically by reason of deduction, I'm going to assume most of you guys would not assume your SATA AHCI controller would be your flash drive. I think that's usually a pretty safe assumption to take, so just look through some of the options. So I'm going to choose my best guess here, which would be my USB flash drive. And we can see we get a little pop-up saying the USB mass storage device can now be safely removed from the computer. So it's very simple. At this point, you can actually physically remove the USB flash drive, and hopefully there shouldn't be any issues. This is also definitely a good practice if you want to make sure you haven't accidentally left any programs or files open on your computer before you abruptly take your flash drive out. It will often serve as a worst case scenario backup if you forget that you're working on a paper or something and you ripped out your flash drive without saving it. This will save you guys in many cases. So just keep that in mind and as always thank you for checking out this video and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.